Hello everyone, welcome to Public Connect. So in this video we will learn how to integrate Google Sheets and Jira. So our use case is pretty simple. When a new row is added in Google Sheets, it will automatically create an issue in Jira. Now Google Sheet is an awesome spreadsheet program and Jira is an issue tracking software. So what we are going to do is, we are going to send the data from Google Sheets to Jira. But there is one minor problem. There is no integration between Google Sheets and Jira. So in cases like these, we need to bring a third app to properly connect them both. So in this video, we will be using Pabli Connect to integrate Google Sheets and Jira. And the best part of using Pabli Connect is, there is no need for coding skills or programming knowledge. It can be done easily. Let me show you on my screen. Okay, so to begin the process, first type pabli.com in your browser. pabli.com, press enter. Okay, so this is the website of pabli.com. Here hover on products and at the bottom you will find the option called as connect. Click on connect and then click on sign in. Okay, so this is the dashboard of Pabli Connect. As you can see, I already have made an account in Pabli Connect. You can also create your own free account in just two minutes. Here, I would like to mention one more thing that Pabli Connect offers a plan where this integration can be tried out absolutely free. So you just have to clone the template of its workflow, which is available in the description box. Once you clone the template, you will get immediate access to this amazing workflow in your account. Okay, so scroll down and at the bottom you will find connect. Just click on access now. Okay, so at the top right corner you will find a button. Create workflow. Click this. A dialog box appears in front of you. It is asking you to give a name to this workflow. I am going to give it as Google Sheets to Jira. Google Sheets to Jira and then just click on create. Okay, so when you click on create, a window appears in front of you. This is called as the trigger window. So in the choose app, how about we make it as Google Sheets. Google Sheets. Because we want to send the data from Google Sheets. That is why. Now in the trigger event, how about we make it as new spreadsheet row. Okay, so new spreadsheet row is basically a trigger event. So your obvious question is, what is a trigger event? Trigger is basically a if statement. It asks a question, if the condition is met, what should be done? For example, if a new spreadsheet row is made in Google Sheet, then what action should be taken by the system? At present, there is only one trigger event, that is new spreadsheet row. Now in case if you want more triggers of your choice, you can make a request to our team at admin at the rate for the specific trigger that you want to build. But at present, I just want to send the data when a new spreadsheet row is made in Google Sheet. Okay, so basically the gist of the process is, we are just trying to integrate Google Sheets to Pabli Connect. Okay, so let me show you my Google Sheet. So this is the Google Sheet I have created for Jira and it has been titled Jira Issue. And these are the columns I have, summary, label, description, and we have entered the summary as code, coding background. The label is Python and the description is a class in CSS being used to render inline code snippets or commands within the PEP markdown. Okay, so this is the description. So to begin the integration process, all you have to do is just click on add-ons. So when you click on add-ons, you can find Pabli Connect webhooks installed in your system. Now, if you're starting new Pabli Connect webhooks add-on won't be installed in your system. So what you have to do is you have to just click on get add-ons. Okay, so when you click on get add-ons, G Suite Marketplace opens up. So in the search, how about we just uh, type Pabli Connect webhooks, this one. Okay, so as you can see, it has already been installed in my system. All you have to do is just click on this button and it will be installed in your system also. Now there is something else you should know that after installing Pabli Connect webhooks add-on in your system, do not forget to refresh your Google Sheet. Always refresh your Google Sheet. Okay, so I'm canceling this, going back to add-ons, clicking on Pabli Connect webhooks and just click on initial setup. Okay, so this is the window of initial setup. Here you have a two blanks, the webhook URL and the trigger column. So to get the webhook URL, let's have a visit to Pabli Connect. So this is the webhook URL you want. Simply copy this and just paste it here. Okay, so we have entered the webhook URL. So the trigger column is column C. Okay, so your obvious question is why are we keeping the trigger column as column C? Always remember the last data entry column is the trigger column. Now in my case, the last data entry column is column C. That is why we have kept the trigger column as C. 
Okay, so basically at this point, we have integrated this particular Google Sheet to Pabli Connect. This means anytime column C is filled, Pabli Connect has to capture the data. So as to ensure that Pabli Connect captures this data, let me go to Pabli Connect and click on this button, Capture Webhook Response. Okay, so it is uh, showing, it is waiting for the data. So what we are going to do here is, uh, we are just going back to our Google Sheet and just click on Send Test. Okay, so it is showing the data has been sent. So let's have a look in Public Connect since it is integrated. Okay, so as you can see, all the data that is present here is now found here. For example, the summary is coding big breakdown, the label is Python, and the description is a class in CSS being used to render inline code snippets or commands within PAP Markdown. So basically, this is uh, the data that we want. Okay, so to create an issue in Jira, all you have to do is just click on this plus button. Okay, so when you click on this plus button, another window opens up. This is called as the action window. So in the choose app, how about we make it as Jira, Jira software. Okay, so now in the action event, we just want to create an issue. Now there are 10 more of uh, action events like update issue, add issue watcher, add command and so on. All of them are a bunch of action events. Now just like the triggers, if you don't find the action event according to your choice, you can make a request to our team at admin at the to custom build an action event for you. But at present, I just want to create an issue in Jira. Okay, so just click on connect with Jira software. Okay, so in the new credentials, just again click on connect with Jira software. Okay, so now Public Connect is demanding access to your account, Jira account. So let me tell you something before I click on accept. Public Connect doesn't take any chances with your data. Your data is 100% safe and secure with us. Okay, so on the basis of that trust, just click on accept. Okay, so it is showing the authorization is successful. Just click on OK. Excellent. Okay, so when you click on OK, a set of blanks has appeared in front of you. The purpose of these blank is very simple. We are going to create an issue in Jira from the data that we have received from Google Sheet via Public Connect. So uh, let me show you this. What is the meaning of project? So as you can see in the project, it is showing it as black hole. And when we expand this, these are the projects I have. So what is this? So let me take you to Jira. So these are the projects I have. Okay, bug tracking, stack issues, red rough, uh, black hole, Pabli 2. So basically all the projects that is present here is being just reflected here. This is because we have integrated Jira to Pabli Connect. So what if I create a new project? I'm just going to click on create project. So I'm going with this one. Okay. And... Uh, the name of the project is coding error mapping okay how about code error mapping so this is the project name code error mapping and I'm just going to click on create okay okay so excellent a project called as uh, code error mapping has been created so when I go back to public connect and when I refresh this I can expect to find code error mapping as one of my projects in the drop down so let me refresh it okay so uh, when we refreshed it okay so as you can see there is a project called as code error mapping so we are going to create an issue in this particular project code error mapping okay so we have selected it Okay, so now coming to the base URL, since our base URL is uh, pabli.altation.net, it is just uh, simply being reflected here. Okay, so now coming to the issue type, we are making it as bug. Okay, and in the summary, so let me introduce you to this button. This is called as the mapping button. So when we click this, you can enter all the details that we have uh, fetched from Google Sheet. So we had a specific column for summary, though we have uh, mapped it. Similarly with the description, uh, we are going to map in the description. Okay, so this is the description class in CSS being used to render inline code snippets or commands within the PEP markdown. And the priority I'm keeping it as medium. Okay, it's not that really important. The label as Python, okay, the language. So basically we have uh, mapped and entered all the details sufficient enough to create an issue. So just click on save and send test request. Okay, so the API response is showing the data has been sent. So let's have a look. So this is the board, uh, the project I had. So I'm just refreshing it. Okay, so yes, we do have uh, the board or the issue called as coding breakdown. So the presence of uh, this uh, uh, issue in uh, Jira shows that we have successfully integrated Google Sheets and Jira with help of Public Connect. Now, how about we double check if the integration is working fine or not?
But before we do that, let me show you the whole mechanism in a nutshell. So what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to minimize this action window and I'm going to minimize this trigger window. Okay, so basically this is the whole process in a nutshell. First you integrated Google Sheets to Public Connect and then you have integrated Public Connect to Jira software. So now there is a perfect flow of data between Google Sheets and Jira software. So I'm going back to my Google Sheet. Okay, I'm just going to click on Submit so that it closes this window. Okay, before we uh, make one more entry, uh, there is something you should know. How about I go back to Add-ons, the uh, Public Connect webhook and just click on Send on Event. So this will ensure that we don't have to uh, keep clicking on initial setup again and again. So just click on send on event. Okay, so uh, we are going to enter a summary. Uh, for loop stuck. Okay, and uh, the label is uh, Java. And the description is uh, while loop while loop has failed hence the compiler is not rendering okay so this is the description while loop has failed and the compiler is not rendering so let's have a look in uh, jira whether we have this uh, issue okay so uh, i'm just removing this removing this okay and refreshing this Okay, so as you can see, there is an issue called as for loop stuck. And this is the description while loop has failed and the compiler is not rendering. Excellent. So our integration is working absolutely fine. This means anytime a new spreadsheet row is made in Google Sheet, it will be reflected as an issue in Jira. Not just these two apps, you can integrate up plenty of applications using Pabli Connect. If you have any queries, contact us at admin at the rate pabli.com. Our dedicated team members will help you to automate your workflows. Or better, just visit our website www.pabli.com. It's awesome. Thanks.